Alright guys, we're ready to film the night. Wait! What's this? Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, you guys actually don't know. It's a present from Santa to the late night chat crew. Can you see that? Oh, let's focus on that. Wow. How nice, Santa. This is incredible. Is it for sure camera or sure audio? Is it uh, the microphones we need? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Based on the shape, it looks like a Christmas tree. What do you think it is, Thor? A uh, Christmas tree. Is it a Christmas tree? I think it's a mug. What? I probably or it's a waterfall. Really Whoa! Like a job. We're official now. Formatted incorrectly. Wait. What Thanks, Santa. <laughs> That's great. Is this real? <laughs> Look at this. It's like correct <laughs> aspect ratio. Incorrect. Santa, I can't believe you formatted our mugs wrong. Santa! <laughs> it's still nice though, Santa. Thanks so much, Santa. Let's get back to the episode. Wait. Man, he, he's a shameless promotion. Shameless. Yeah, shameless. Look at that beautiful autofocus on. Oh, there it is. First episode with mugs. Cheers, fam. We've Cheers. drank all our drinks Salud. while we were setting up the cameras. Salud. Salud. Drink our drink. Salud. All right. This week on the show, we're gonna be talking about some of our favorite Christian pieces of content that we've been impacted by in the last few weeks. And I think I was praying. I was praying for God to give me some vision for what to do on the show and what to do consistently on the show, and something to kind of be the glue that we like talk about every week. Because you know, um, I think we need that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were just the the cold eyes meme. <laughs> Jacob's like, yes, we need a premise. If, and the point of this show is to like point people to artists and content that is promoting God and kingdom work. And I think that like, I don't know, I'm not a pastor or like a preacher or even a teacher of any kind, but I do like movies and TV and all of those things. And that's how like it like really impacted in my own life. And I like, I think using this show to like talk about like things that are impacting you in your life, whether that be like a Christian movie or like Black Panther Wakanda Forever that I watched seven times in theaters. It's up to seven now, guys. Oh. Wow, sure. It, it was lower last time I told them. But like, I literally felt like God taught me some lessons through that movie. So it doesn't always have to be like on the nose, like super Christian songs, music, YouTubers, podcasts, books, whatever. It can be... It can be whatever. Um, it could be Wakanda Forever or a chapter of the Bible, if that's what's up this week. So, I don't know. And we also don't have to all share every week something, but just like something that you like had a moment with, I guess, you know? So, who wants to go first? I said some of that in a text earlier, and I'm not sure if anyone prepped anything. Zero preparation. Nice. So it you, should be. Anybody got anything though? I do, actually. Kind of cliche, but I'm gonna say chosen at this point. Did you watch it? Yeah, I actually. You watched the first episode in the theaters? I well, I didn't watch the the season three yet. I'm sorry, oh. Zach. Uh, I'm not that relevant. I'm not. On. <laughs> Come on now. Man. Not that relevant. Sorry. We should go it. to the theaters and watch it though. Oh, it's still. It's on? still there. Okay. It broke. It was in the top I mean, five box office for a couple definitely. weeks. I think. Yeah. No. Yeah. Chosen. Chosen's been. Chosen's great. I highly recommend. The first two episodes were in theaters for of season, season three. three. Um, we're in theaters for the last few weeks of season three. Yeah, it's just super old. No, still in theaters. First two episodes. They've been in theaters for years. They just keep them out there. No. Um, so did you start at the beginning or? Yeah, like I started it. No, I haven't. Didn't watch it for a long because time. Because of our show here. Actually, yes. Actually, believe it or not, yes. It's just because of the show. People kept. I kept hearing good things, and so me and my sister watched it. Nice. So, yeah. That's dope. I will say that show probably is one, like, I didn't even think about it until you said it, but that one would be one of the top pieces of Christian content. I watched it, year, like, a couple years ago mm -hmm. now, but, like, it it really highlights the humanness of characters in the Bible that you don't think about too much. Like, yeah. Matthew, for one, like, I don't know. I, that's what I was thinking of when you said that. Matthew, just, like, you can really connect with this guy who's an outcast because he's a tax collector and... But then Jesus comes like and changes his life, and it's just really powerful. Like it, it had a 
humongous change in perspective for me. It kind of brings it to life. Yeah. And then, like, Mary Magdalene, when she, like, at the beginning, she's, like, looked up. The pilot's so good. The yeah. first episode with her. Yeah. That, that one that hits. One, that one was hard to, to watch without a little bit of tears coming up. So. The feels. No, it's so good. I love the ending of that one. Um. Okay, so where are you at in the show? I need to start season three. I'm done with season one and two. Oh, yes, nice. I'm caught up. Watched, yeah, I'm caught up. Oh, so you know the cliffhanger of sorts. I mean, That's kind of really a cliffhanger. The ending of the Serve show the where it ends. Yes, yeah, Serve I mean, on the Mount cliffhanger. Who, <laughs> for people who never wrote, you know, read Serve on the cliff gospel. Hanger? Yeah, I mean, it was a tall mount. But no, but we meet a character. Oh, right. Judas. Judas you know, I'm, I think I'm most excited about that. It's gonna be so sad. Like, think about how attached we are to Matthew now after watching the first two seasons and how little we were. I, I like could care less about Matthew reading the Bible. Mm. Maybe that's bad to say. <laughs> Probably. It's fine. Out there. But also, like, out there. dang. You know. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, but. <laughs> But now you like care, but like Judas, I feel like there's already that like emotional like betrayal in the Bible. So now it's like it's gonna hit different. They're making seven seasons yeah. of the show. It's gonna yeah. go forever. We're only five chapters in to Matthew, isn't the Sermon on the Mount? Season six, chapter is five. Be the movie, The Passion. So yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Basically, because only like four times as long because it's seven <laughs> episodes or whatever. Why watch The Passion once when you could watch it four times? Exactly. Um, oh, that's good. No, no, we got the heavy hitters out of the way. The Chosen, and I'm going to say Lauren Daigle's Christmas album. Because that <laughs> freaking hits. And She's pretty good. It's so good. And the song... Let me cue it up. I'm getting the lyrics. It's Christian song. I mean, it's like Christian Christmas songs, or it's just like Jingle Bell Rock. She does do... <laughs> Um, the Charlie Brown song, <laughs> and she does Charlie Brown hits. hits. Charlie Brown greatest hits, exactly. And she does um, Jingle Bells, like the second song. But the song "Light of the World," the part where it goes, mm -mm -mm. the part where it goes, the drought breaks with the tears of a mother. A baby's cry is the sound of love. Come down, come down, Emmanuel. For he's the song for the suffering. He's the Messiah. The Prince of Peace has come. He has come. And she's talking about like all these perspectives. And that's one thing I really like about her songs is that she like finds the interesting perspectives of the Bible. Hmm. Of the Bible. And um, <laughs> and so yeah, I, I heard that at a concert the other day and I was just like, I don't know. I feel like I've heard that song a million times, but it like really hit the other day. So that's my answer. But I literally love Lauren Daigle. She's so good. So good. You say, you okay, say it's, it's been five years since her last album. Seriously? I think it was Lauren. Lauren? Lauren. We know you watch this. <laughs> Hurry up. Stop <laughs> watching our show and make another album. No, but for real, four years <laughs> working on five is a long time. That is a while. Which you can do when you're Lauren Daigle, I guess. We're praying for you, okay? We, thoughts and prayers <laughs> go out to Lauren Daigle. That's another shirt. <laughs> Yes. Our thoughts and prayers. <laughs> they do though. <laughs> Quality shirts. My Christian content of the month. <laughs> yes. My Christian content of the month. Well, that's good. Is <laughs> Quality Shirt Company. Uh, another shameless promotion. <laughs> that is a shameless I'm a little promotion. bit ashamed of that. The, I feel like shamelessly promoting the logo in our own show is <laughs> really a promotion if you're watching it. <laughs> if you're seeing this, then you're watching the show. The t-shirt company is a promotion. That's uh when I when I saw Wakanda Forever for the first time, they had a they had a like you know the newbie clips they do? Mm -hmm. They have one of those and it was um like one of their pre-shows and it was theorizing the movie <laughs> and my family hates spoilers i love them but my family hates spoilers <laughs> and, she, and she was like <laughs> describing the movie in in the theater the for the movie we're about to watch oh, yeah God. isn't that dumb <laughs> which for me i like knew everything they were going to say and i knew they weren't actually going to spoil it but my family hadn't even watched trailers like they wanted to know nothing going in and so they're like so salty <laughs> But that's, Why do you love spoilers? I love 
not spoil, so here's the difference. I love like theorizing about the movie. Mm. Anything that is not confirmed. If there's just like someone just posts the end credits scene of a movie, any movie, or the ending of a movie, that's not what I'm about. If... Well, that's not a spoiler then. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Like theories. Tell them what's up, Dwayne. And trailer breakdowns. Mm. You know yeah, what I mean? Easter eggs. Yeah. Yeah, and I like like... Like knowing the different like theories about like which scenes are connected in a trailer and which scenes are like go together and which are like fake because they like replace backgrounds now in certain movies. Did you guys see the Transformers trailer? No. Nope. I did not, but it has a giant robot gorilla. <laughs> and it's like, why would you transform into that? It goes from giant like <laughs> robot to giant robot gorilla. And like, how is that? A disguise at all. It's just this, <laughs> it's just as weird. Yeah. Like, but like a skyscraper high, just metal gorilla. And it's like So it doesn't even look real. No. It doesn't even look like a real normal gorilla, giant gorilla. It just looks like a giant metal gorilla. And it's like the point of turning into a vehicle is so they can be like undercover. That's right. Maybe I'm thinking too much about this, but also that's I don't think so it's dumb. skyscraper. <laughs> Tall gorilla is undercover? No! <laughs> in New York it would blend. In this economy? <laughs> no. In, in New York. York? In New York. Ah, it's just a giant gorilla out again today. <laughs> it's okay, Polly. Just go back to fixing that alternator on the car. Oh. <laughs> New York is pretty unhinged though. Yeah. <laughs> I went one time and it was like insane the whole time. This scares me. That it was so scary. scary. <laughs> it's so scary. Yet I still want to live there just a little bit. It would be so fun. We're gonna get just for like a year. The New Yorkers. <laughs> I'm gonna cancel for me saying I want to move to New York. I cancel for your voices. <laughs> uh, any other? Uh, Transformers wasn't on my list of media it's that not, it's <laughs> God not used to impact me. Not good movies. <laughs> Hot take. What else? What, anything else? Yes. Or are we moving on to our game? I like games, but I also have something else. Um. One of my favorite podcasts is the Becoming Something podcast. Oh um, yeah, Jonathan P. P or Jonathan Jonathan Picuda. Picuda. Um, and it's for young adults and people that are entering their thirties and stuff like that. It it just has a lot of really biblical and sound content um, that are my like the people my age really care about. A lot of stuff on dating, money, buying houses, um, like politics, um, work, stuff like that. It, like today's episode was about secular work field, like the secular work field. And I don't know, I, I don't work in a secular work field, but I've worked in secular work fields before. And but boy, have I. <laughs> boy, have I. Um, and like, you can still have a big impact if you're not doing work that the world would consider like holy or mm. spiritual mm -hmm. as a Christian. That's cool. So. Yeah. Cause I think we just, we just do their podcast though, but <laughs> also on that topic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are we allowed to do that? Um, I think so. yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like my view of like worship has been expanding lately to like more than just like praise and worship and like music and stuff, but to like, everything we do, which is like very clearly in scripture that it says like everything you do, like give it to God and stuff. And I don't know, just that whole idea of like everything I'm doing, like it, it doesn't have to just be singing Maverick City or whatever. Like it could just be like working or, mm -hmm. you know, and that can be proper worship, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And it's like those things with being in a secular job. It's one of those things where it's Jesus even said this at times where it's like, you know, the, the sick are the ones that need the doctor, not the healthy. Mm -hmm. like Because mm -hmm. all Christians dream to like work in at a church or at some sort of Christian field. But then it's like, well, what about all the people who aren't Christian? And we just, you know, create our own little eco bubble with our own apps and own iPhones mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. And we just, everything Christian in this bubble and then everything outside is just left outside. And that's not what, you know, that's not what Jesus told us to do. It's true. It's hard to like find that balance of like, there's like terms for it, but I can't remember of like being inward and being outward and having like both. 
Um, recently I've been trying to get into a habit of how to incorporate Jesus into my life more. So I guess this week my main focus has been how I can, like, focus on Him at least once in the day. Like, completely on Him. And with finals and everything going on that I've been living through, um, every time I get in my car, the first thing in the morning is what I play worship music. And so, that's what I've been doing this What's week. What's your playlist? We're all going to follow it. I'm just <laughs> Worship 2022. Let's go. <laughs> that's it. Really basic. But yeah, just because that's how I feel closest to him. And so with finals and everything, I got to get in the car and play some I Thank God at 830 in the morning. Aaron Moses, <laughs> the last guest I had on the show. Hey. Okay. A while ago. <laughs> you want to be on it again? Aaron, come back. I know you're watching. That was actually so fun. He was so nice. <laughs> He was, like, really vulnerable, and he talked for, like, 30 minutes, and I was like, hey, do you have, like, 10 minutes? And I was only expecting him to talk for, like, 10 minutes, and he talked for, like, wow. half an hour, and I felt like I cut him off in the end of anything, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> which like, I didn't mean to, done. but I was like, yeah, so we're going to get to our game. Speaking of, we do got to get to our game. <laughs> wow, that is the segue game. I was looking for. Okay. Um, what is game? Game is not really game. It's... Communion <gasps> review time! That's not a game. <laughs> That's barely a game. <laughs> no, we were taking communion on this one. I, right we're now. not taking it. We're <laughs> reviewing it. <laughs> so how do we review what we have to what, Did you take those from... Okay. I took them from a couple churches. I got people at places. He just like ruled up to the church. And so I've got a bunch of different communion oh, yeah. cups that we can taste and review. Do you know review. where they're from? Just we're not yeah. reviewing the churches, we're just reviewing the brand. I can't remember what this one is. He just, Let's see. He just rolled into I gotta get these all organized. He, uh, grabbed like a whole bunch through it and just when he popped it and walked out. <laughs> that's, yeah. The white lids can That's my new head cannon, Zach, just let you know. What is? Just you rolling up in a church with your hoodie on and sneaking in there and just grabbing a whole bunch of communion cups and walking out. Look how nice. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna jokingly have an Oreo for everyone to try in the end, but I forgot. Wouldn't that be funny if we all just took communion with Oreos? Yeah. Okay. Well, That's what we too. call 2020 communion. <laughs> all right. So here we have three different kinds of communion, three different brands. Um, some of it is um, stolen from different churches. Some of it is expired. And um, yeah, we're going to try all the different flavors and see what is best. Flavor. <laughs> flavors of communion. <laughs> Is it pumpkin spice? We got pumpkin spice. <laughs> grape? Do you got grape? We <laughs> have grape. grape well, white grape, not purple. <laughs> white grape. <laughs> uh, and this is this is some bread. Look at that. There's still wine there. There's no blood. No, we only have two juice. Um, <laughs> two juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, which one do we try first? Do we try these? The ones that we have at church already? No, we don't know which ones we have at church. Yes, we it's do. A, it's a blind <laughs> review. They don't need to know that. Here you go. We this isn't, before. we're not actually, this is actually helpful. If you're a church um, pastor, <laughs> <laughs> watching our video, you can know which kind you should get. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're already dropping our stuff. This I really like so the way weird. this opens. The seal is good. Okay, yeah, so Wait, hold on. The criteria we have. I'm into print little ballots. We're doing, we're doing, um, <laughs> packaging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Flavor. Okay. And, um, I forgot my third category. Okay, flavor slash taste, packaging, and, oh, presentation. Okay. So not the same thing as packaging. Openability. That's, <laughs> that's a great category. That is that's going to be our third. This has, at least the bread part has so a let's 10 do, out of 10. Openability for the bread part is what? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10? I think it's pretty good because you got this on the bottom. Really the bread is on the bottom here. Really okay, yeah. so. It like gives me a little bit of anxiety. Now, for some reason, I always think I'm going to spill something. The seal on the, on the juice is really good. So even though they have to flip it upside mm -hmm. down to get the little bread thing. What if it was accidentally opened? Well, and then you just spilled Well, bread. I mean, then they what got juice everywhere. What monster would do that? Okay, let's try the bread. Here we go. One, two, three. It's got a little crunch to it, you know? It's typical. Tastes like cardboard, which we'd expect. <laughs> it's like... I mean, actually, there's a little bit of salt to it. I was going to say, I'm getting a little saltiness. I don't know. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's 
like <laughs> well, you know not, it's good enough for me. <laughs> it doesn't kill your congregation members with peanut allergies. Yeah. No, let's try the juice. It's I think the juice. packaging is honestly a nine. Yeah, the packaging is really solid. These open up pretty easily. And you got the two separations. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Bottoms up. I didn't mm. drink the whole thing. Just what, is it too much? Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I just think it's Quantity, weird. Quantity zero out of ten. Anyway. Hi, this is um, Zach in the future editing this video and I'm here to tell you some some not great news that in the middle of our communion review the camera actually went out on the couch and so um, for the rest of this it's just gonna be my face so uh, you're welcome for that. Just picture them drinking communion and eating um, communion and that's basically um, what was happening over there. I mean... I'm gonna, think... I'm gonna take multiple sips. Okay. <laughs> She's like praying. I just didn't know we were doing this. This is so weird. <laughs> I didn't tell you about this. Oh, you weren't here the week we talked about doing this. <laughs> I'm was just surprised with this. <laughs> A <laughs> communion review. <laughs> uh, this is so good. It's okay. Fine. So um, not my favorite. The juice. It's a little sour. I'll say it's it. It's like average for communion, though. Like you think? Yeah, like no one's gonna complain because it's like such a small amount, and everyone has to do it. So everyone has to suffer with you if you don't like it. Well, yeah, but I mean, as far as reviewing it goes, I mean, you don't have to grade on a curve for that. It's, it's a five. Oh, you think the <gasps> juice is a five for flavor? It's hot like take. Ab like five out of, out of ten. ten. Out of ten. Five out of ten. Like, hot it's take. like the average. It's the baseline. Oh wow. Okay, like come on. Man. That's low. Mountain Dew. <laughs> what is that? That's Wait, Mountain Dew's your 10? <laughs> no. Or, or like root beer? What? In the communion? <laughs> root beer for communion? That's your 10? You know, oh, honestly, <laughs> if I had, if I was in control of a church, there would be root beer. It's root beer on the top and a little piece of an Oreo on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so fire. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put the name of it up above. So we've got... 25 points, and then honestly, the pack, or, then no, we got 9, 9, and 5. I mean, the whole, like, the packaging is a solid 10 out of 10. Okay, so the packaging, we have 10. Mm -hmm. The, the bread. The bread is good, I would say. The bread it's is my favorite. It's 7. Like an eight. The bread is 7. Yeah, 7 or 8. So like that puts seven. us at 17. Mm -hmm. And then what was the other one? 5, apparently. 5 is low. But let's go 6. Let's I think 6, because okay. you're, you're... Hating a little hard. I'm like, we like, gotta average out our numbers. I'm comparing all beverages versus just communion. <laughs> <laughs> right, which is a weird so way to do it. Granted, <laughs> this is weird so in and like, of itself. I'll give, Dew, it I'll give it a seven. Communion. I'll give it seven. I'm gonna take this for the thumbnail. Wine. Oh, wait. You guys hold up your communion cups. Go. Oh, wait. I threw mine away. Perfect. That's gonna be in our thumbnail. Thor. Okay, so. You just. Now, wait. What? Nothing. Does everyone have these ones? No. Are they second cups? Just the one. Okay, one. perfect. So what did that total score? <laughs> like 20, 23. Math. 23 out of 30. <laughs> Honestly, that's harsh, because I think that is going to be the best one we have. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go with the second, the second brand. I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> this is the old church. <laughs> this is what you we used to have in its room. Here we go. What does it say I on can't the top? That's, brand. that's important. Presentation. That's on the top. This okay, is so my body, which is broken for you. The presentation slash packaging. Yeah. Okay, I really oh, like that it has a little thing on top. Yeah, I like the little wafer on top, but it is a little trickier to open, so I give the packaging an eight. But yeah, the... this I remember. This yeah, I remember this. This They're is a little why, tricky wiki. And old How people is can't do it. For you? Just, just being real. Ground. How is it tricky for you? As I cannot open it. How, <laughs> How is this tricky? <laughs> you know what? How about this? Oh, wait. I gotta, I gotta okay. Strategy. Yeah. Here's something. When you pull up this one, it opens this. It just opened the juice, but I'm trying to open it. Yeah, this is going to be six for me. I, yeah, I, think, this is I think maybe six. I got a strategy. The words don't make so up for the. Take the top one off and then you peel them apart. But the no, that's like. Can it's you just so see hard to on do. camera? It's at the top here. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think this is fair because these are like 16 years old. <laughs> no. How long have you had them? No, they're not. They're not. They're from another church. Really? This Sunday. 
Okay. Can you tell? That'd still be so No. <laughs> no. You I can't tell. I would have guessed it was the, the, the cracker breads. They thing. crunch though. They do crunch. That's crunchy munchy. But they taste the like taste stuff from less. The taste is worse. The taste is so bad. See? Stir I got mine open just now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't wait for me. <laughs> Sorry. I was Sorry, sitting here going, I can't open it. I can't open it. You were one, two, three. This is like some ASMR. I'm that mic that doesn't work. Shh, it works. Okay. <laughs> Let's try the juice. <laughs> no, I need the juice. Yeah. The juice is better. I like the juice, the juice better than the last one. The juice is the way one. better. The juice is good. I, yeah, like I said, the last one was a five. People didn't believe me. This is this is a good seven. <laughs> That's a good seven. <laughs> a good seven. <laughs> That's still low. The juice is a ten for me. I don't like juice, but I like that. This Eight. is really good. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Nine. Solid. Let's go nine. Nine. All right, nine for the juice. What do we give the bread? The bread is a. That's like a four. four. The three. bread is a three for me. It's like Whoa, it's a one. It had a How is it even bread? It's so bad. It's so it's yuck. It's not bread. That's the consistency. It's, like, it's styrofoam. It's styrofoam. It's the it's styrofoam, styrofoam peanuts. It's the biodegradable kind that's safe to eat. Okay. Yeah. Four. That's three or four. So bread, we give it. So what's the total score? Packaging is worse too. Well, packaging was six. Bread is four. Mm -hmm. So ten. Nineteen. Nineteen. So 10, 19. She forgot. 33. 33. <laughs> okay. Let's crack open these. These are very expired. Let's see. Why? And there's no. How are because we, they're we old. can't grade these. Where'd we don't have wine with it. That's true. We don't have the juice. She's got the juice. But we're just going to go with Welch's juice because we all know what that tastes like. And that's what you would use for so this. So we use that as a 10? So packaging is a zero because these you just have to stick your clod hoppers right. <laughs> Claw hopper, is that hands or is that feet? Who knows? You just stick your <laughs> you stick know. your mitt, grab your little mitts in there, and you gotta just pick out yours. That's not COVID safe. That's yuck. You just gotta you gotta make certain you vomit on your hands before Can you, you open grab this? communion. Do we have any with dairy? Like any cheeses of Nazareth? <laughs> you guys remember the Christian products review? <laughs> okay, Thor got it. I was kinda hoping they'd explode, because I thought that'd be funny. Ooh. No, you can't actually. No, no, you don't get a smell. You oh, if I would have, I if I would have told you, I can smell Oh my hair. gosh, that is some strong. Stuff. That is rank. That is so. That is so bad. Yeah, I was like zero. I was like, what's gonna expire? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, we got the other camera back. Look at the crew. Yeah. So that died a while ago, but um. Yeah, we're not super sure about this. We've been mostly talking about that and how the camera died and if we're even going to post this at all. If you're watching it, we did. Best before April 2019. 2019. That means they're COVID safe. <laughs> it was sealed. It was sealed. It was so, sealed. So we're good. Everybody can partake. Yeah, I mean... Wait, Carly's so the only one willing. I think willing. I'm going to be the only one that eats it. Carly and me. This says that it includes a resealable plastic bag. but there's It's no Jesus' body. Jesus body. It tur Jesus body. Jesus body. It turns down. into his body when it goes down. Your <laughs> Go it. <laughs> Go it. <laughs> so is Jesus body no. expired? I don't think so. Nope. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Okay. Let me just make wow. sure we're recording. Wow. This how is... how sad would that have been if I was like we're these, recording these and then we're. I don't know. I'm not doing they it. They feel. You're weird. actually not. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. I guess I'll do it. <laughs> do they, I, I wish we could smell the video. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so bad. They, okay. Why are they mushy? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ten out of ten. Guess what? They taste as. Oh, they oh! Smell just like they how they smell. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Can I have a drink to wash it down? We gotta go. We gotta get. We gotta go. Come on, get up. Where are you going? Oh, water. Going to pee. <laughs> oh, are you gonna throw up? <laughs> mm. They are bad. Um, I give this a negative ten out of three hundred. Negative. Um, oh, That's gross. the lowest score of the night. Right. I mean, I can't. I can't fault it. It's more like Zach's at fault. Cause like, look, look at this date. Look at this date, guys. You see that date? 
I blame Nick. You know what? Yeah, it's kind of Nick's fault. He should have. He should have went to Israel sooner. We you all see it? that do. We see that date. It's inexcusable. Well, he should have gone to Israel later. He well. Yeah. No. We're well, more recent. More sooner in the proximity of time here. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Will you close that door behind you? I'm the captain yeah. now. The captain doesn't eat no expired wafer. Oh. Uh, you know, the captain goes down. Soda, water? I, you know, oh my gosh. I'll, I'll take a water. I'm We're gonna soda. This episode's brought to you by Coke Zero. <laughs> the perfect drink if you eat expired communion. <laughs> I'm moving over here. Mm. Hey, look at that. That was so much worse than I thought it could possibly be. <laughs> it got sour. <laughs> It was like, yeah, it crumbled, and then it was just like, sour everywhere. Just, just so like, much sour that was everywhere. Bad. It stayed. It lingered. It just lingered. like the staying power of Christ. It tastes um, exactly like the smell. And then sour. And then how, do I, how do I describe and how the smell still like? Tastes no, wait, like we the gotta smell. describe, so and rating, how does it taste I'm gonna like? give it a solid zero. <laughs> I gave zero. it a negative 10. Oh, negative uh, 300. Cool. Like, Cause what it smells like is what it tastes like, believe it or not. Oh, it's in um, my teeth. It's very sour. <laughs> it's like a like industrial cleaner of some sort. This like is such um, a weird like way to end the episode. Like fabuloso. That's what it tastes like. There you go. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. Don't digest cleaner. Not everybody. known how to close an episode out more than this very moment. Are Thor, there? you're in charge of closing us out. Gotcha. Okay, when something is three years expired, don't eat it. That's the moral of the story here, okay? Don't eat it. Don't buy a car from Pauly in New York. And that's about it. We can end the video now. Stay healthy. Drink water.